Uh, my general comment before I come to the specifics is one, it's a wonderful uh, declaration that is anchored on scripture. It is anchored on the tradition. And it is the same way we treat the creeds. We should be able to treat the Jerusalem declaration. In fact, my thinking as a senior clergy in the Anglican Church in Kenya has been as we re review the liturgies uh, and make them even more contemporary, we should be careful that next to the Apostles' Creed, we should be, have, be able to have the Jerusalem Declaration so that it is not uh, a preserve of the clergy and the bishops, it is for every believer. Mm -hmm. And I wish in, a, in an Anglican liturgical service, we could stand and declare our Jerusalem Declaration because it is, it is solid, solidifies the, uh, the creeds that we have. And so it is an important part of our liturgy that I would want to see it incorporated in our liturgies. But in particular, I'm interested in uh, verse six, uh, that we rejoice in our Anglican uh, sacramental and liturgical heritage. This is the anchor in which we have interpreted the liturgy. The challenge that we see in our modern times is to water down that very heritage. Unfortunately, we've seen these uh, happening in the West and we have now the third world or the, 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 the countries where you have more Christianity are uh, watering down their liturgical interpretation to accommodate more and more and more people. Mm -hmm. While in the West, they could be dealing with issues of human sexuality. In countries like in Africa, we could be dealing with issues of polygamy, uh, but also uh, uh, different understanding of sexuality in our African cultures. And so we need to have a liturgy that challenges our morality, whether we are in the West or whether we are in Africa or Asia or South America, our liturgies should um, uh, take advantage of uh, the, 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 the heritage that we have received so that we don't, in the name of uh, uh, putting them in, uh, adapting them in our local cultures, that we don't water down that particular heritage. Mm. And so there must be a bare minimum in which we can't go beyond that. Mm. Otherwise, if it is encouraged, everybody keeps in the name of uh, their culture, diluting the heritage in which we have received. And so my encouragement to uh, the Anglican churches that are evangelical is as you interpret your liturgies and your sacramental uh, services, please let's be careful that we don't lose the heritage in which we got from the 1662 uh, prayer book, even as we make them uh, local. Uh, the Anglican church in Kenya has done a fantastic work uh, in interpreting the liturgy, and it is now being shared across the world. Uh, that is a commendation to the Kenyan church. But even as we continue to do the reviews, we should be able to anchor our liturgical and sacramental interpretation to the heritage in which we have received. Mm -hmm.